Hey, hello everybody. So today I decided to tune up, fully tune up uh, my DR2 from the Kamichi. So let me change it back. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to build up frequency response. And then I will be adjusting these two coils uh, to adjust record response to fix the gap between 100 and 200 gears uh, which this deck has to make this recording perfect because uh, this deck is really perfect it does records very well the only thing I have here is the, the gap and if you will see my other video where I was like um, unscrew by one turn these coils uh, I just decided to screw them back for one coil for one turn and then check and measure everything and make sure that uh, we will adjust it exactly uh, appropriately as this so now I will be switching to the tape recording so we would be able to see how recording on type 1 is different from the source so it's currently tape plain as you see and it's type 1 tdk d90 tape and as you see it goes well to 20 kilohertz on type 1 tape A really nice response let's see the lower frequencies how it will do and let's compare with the uh, source you see it has a little bit bigger response on 15 gears and it's equal on 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, a little bit lower, 60, 80, lower. You see in between 100 and 200 it's a little bit lower and then it goes flat, really flat up to 20 kilohertz. And I will try to fix this gap here because uh, I can hear it on my speakers, those are very good speakers. And what I will do, I will try to make eliminate it. So I will unscrew one turn, half turn, one turn on the left channel, and half turn, and one turn on the right channel. Let's measure. It would be the same results as I told you, I hear that is better. Uh, when I did my video, but I didn't have this program before. Let's measure if it will improve. Actually, I don't see any difference really on the lower end. Let's see if it will affect the higher end. So probably it was just my imagination. Yeah, you see it's definitely affecting the high end. And it will drop in early. You see? It's cut off on 16 kilohertz now. So let's return it back. So I will screw half turn, one turn, and this one, half turn and one turn. So and let's see over again if it will fix the high frequency response so it definitely doesn't affect so and there is a little bit like two decibels lower i believe between 100 and 200 gears so i think i can extend it let me remember how to do this yeah like that so there is difference about three decibels you see on 100 gears from the source okay currently we have a higher response oops yeah that's what we had so okay good to know so don't follow my previous video this is not what i would like to let's see if we can like increase so i have half a turn here and i have another half a turn here if i can increase high frequencies with these coils mm. 
Yeah, definitely. I see increase already. I see. And we're getting like a huge bump after 10 kilogertz. You see how big it is? It's right there. So that's that's where this coil affects the frequency response. So let's get it back on the half of a tune. And let's make sure that we have it flat. And probably we even would be able to affect it better here. Okay, you can see that I, I can unscrew left channel a little bit more to flatten up it. Let's do one more round. So to equalize this, drop here and jump here and then we will adjust bias. Let's, let's make it flat and adjust bias and we'll see if we can make it absolutely even between left and right channel. It's getting better. Okay, it's flattened. Uh, can we even flatten up it more? Let's do a quarter of a tune on both channels. And see how it will affect. And then probably if it will flatten up, we will just adjust the bias. And it should be good. Okay, so let's increase bias a little bit on the left channel. Just a little bit. Let's see what we will get. If you can make it smooth and flat. See, so I'm getting more flat than the right channel and goes farther. Okay, let's try better. Let's try to bring right channel in line with the left channel. I will unscrew a little bit and head bias a little bit on the right channel. Or it's at the wrong side, so <laughs> I need to push the coil in more like that. So now it's getting even bigger. Let's 
Let's push for more. I like right channel to look exactly like a left channel here. Getting closer. Still probably quite a few bikes. Right channel. Let me try to even it. Yeah, you see, it's too much bias. Let's reduce it. So it's a source tape. Okay, it's even on 15 kilohertz. But it's a joy when we have a levels, we have a bias, and we have a frequency response tune on the deck. We can play with it and we can make sure that it will be perfect. Let's see how it will do now. Okay, better, and what I will do, I will probably screen left channel a little bit. Another quarter of a turn. Let's see if it will flatten up left channel. It would be ideal recorder if it will do better in this region between like 60 gears and 200 gears it will sound much better okay now i believe we need to reduce bias on the left channel a little bit so let's do that yeah i see a little bit Bias. Let's, let's find it. Okay, like that. And let's see if how it will change everything. But you see, like uh, we we recording like type one tape up to twenty kilohertz, no problem. That's how the Kamichi deck works. We can check this as well. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like this. Phase is off. Phase is off. Let me tune it. Let me tune the recording phase. Probably we will start from playback phase. Uh, I did tune it for one of my pre-recorded tapes and I forget to tune it back. Let's just see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Okay, let's see. Such a visit on this deck. Let's me see if we can reduce amplitude a bit. Yeah, like that. So I need to find a bigger stop amplitude. So let's see. Change direction. Smaller, bigger. Okay, I don't 
haven't seen this one almost two this one smaller yeah so this one is the biggest one this one click this one click yeah so this is the amplitude and this is the face yeah you see we get it so this is the best face and if i will change it it will get lower see this one is lower it's bigger and this one is lower so the biggest one is this one okay now let's check our record face Amplitude. It's almost there. Let me see if I can improve it. Smaller, smaller. So this one is the best one. And here is the list of draw. Okay, now we have a good amplitude. Let's see frequency response. If it will improve. It should because we get better amplitude. Probably we can start even like from the levels. So we go back 400 gears. So that's the source, that's the tape. Okay. Now uh, 15 kilogears. That's the source, that's the tape. Okay, something wrong with the tape. Okay, right channel a little bit too much. Let's adjust it. It's pretty sensitive. Okay, somewhere here. So as with the source tape. Okay, now let's see if we can see response. What we will draw here. about one decibel here pretty close equals on 15 okay a little bit difference around 20 between two channels uh, so left channel a little bit to expand okay let me see okay a little bit fix left channel Okay. <laughs> okay, now I believe I need to check the bias. Okay, we need to add a bias a little bit on the left channel after I touch it, the coil. Okay. And now let's try one more time. But it's super precise tuning. I will change the scale and you wouldn't be able to see difference after I will done with this tuning. I 
it was just a tape fault. Okay, it's close, pretty close. Come on. Okay, a little bit, a little bit more. quarter of a turn and let's see bias yes, a little bit more okay like that Okay, I believe this is the perfect result for type 1 tape and if you will change back on the scale you would see that it's flat you see and it goes above 20 kilohertz so minus 3 decibel would be minus would be like 20.5 kilohertz 21 kilohertz somewhere like that on type 1 tape We can check. So it's 15, it's 18, and it's 20. You see, minus one decibel on 20. But here is the card. So it's a source, it's tape. You see, half decibel drop on the left channel on 20 kilohertz. 18, 15, 15 is equal, okay. Now, type two. Let me change the tape. And it's most precise to me. If I would not have this program, guys, believe me, <laughs> I would use my ears, I would use my VTVM. Oh. Oh, this box is broken. it up unfortunately it just falls okay session type 2 recording oh. I need to go to 400 gears Check the level, so source, tape. Okay, we'll reduce a little bit levels here. So left channel and right channel. Done. Source, tape. Okay, cool. Now let's go to 15. And we need to, I believe, yes, so tape just a little bit. So, left channel, add more. Okay, now it's equal. So, source tape. Now we can run frequency sweep. On the type 2 tape you see it's flatter than on type 1 let's see how it will record so 16 18 20 22 Perfect. No complaints, guys.
and that was the like almost the last generation of the Nakamichi Dex I did. I I complain just about this region, so if they would do it better, it would be like a like ideal recorder. Okay, you see, looks very very nice. So we can get more than twenty kilohertz on any type, on any tape type. And it's almost flat. <coughs> and the last one would be the type four. I'm sorry, it's not convenient to do this one hand. Shell shell got broken. I will use Sony. I hope you're not using Sony because it has less bias, less high frequency response. So let's go to the 400. Okay, you see, level is much higher than on TDKMA. So I will flatten up level. Two different two decibel difference between DKMA and Sony XR and 15 kilohertz. That's where we would need to fix the bias. Left channel and right channel. And you see they're a little bit dependent on each other okay so this is the source this is the tape cool and that would be the frequency response for the sony xr tape sony tapes are more stable between two channels as you see has better bus response I'm already seeing this is more flat you see that was what I like to see that is proper response then it goes flat really a really good response from Sony XR tape you see I would say just ideal. So I believe that's it. That was a fine tuning of this Nakamichi DR2 deck. So what I've been using here, we have a levels, left channel, right channel for normal chrome and metal tape. Here we have a bias. So left channel and right channel for normal chrome and metal tape. And uh, here are two coils where we've been adjusting recording frequency response to make a flat response during recording. And you remember that this deck has been upgraded before, so now it's just ideal from the recording perspective. Thank you. Thanks for your time, for watching that. See you in the next series. Bye.